You're listening to Business Over. Hi, guys. Hi, and welcome back. Oh, my goodness. We are in a studio. <gasps> I know. We're back on our couch. It's so exciting. <sighs> we are going to talk today about how to handle competition in a healthy way. Yeah. And we're going to do it with the Central Coast Cali Collection Pinot Grigio. That's All right. So everybody listen. Our favorite sound. Never gets old. No, never, never. I'm going to pour you a little more than me because I am driving. And I'm not. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Delicious. Mm. Very good. So let's jump in. The yeah. Com- the competition. Competition. I mean, it's unavoidable. So let's yeah. face it. Everybody in every industry, unless you do underwater basket weaving, you're going to have competition. You're going to have competition. So you have to learn how to coexist with your competition yeah. in a healthy way. And there's a couple ways that you can do this. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can work with your competition so that you aren't, you can kind of work together. And yeah. we see this in your world a lot with photographers, you know, where you specialize in certain things. Yeah. So, so you're not... Um, in direct competition per yeah. se, but you're complementing each other. Yeah. You, before you will make a decision for the money, because competition comes from the money. Right. It's it's solidly based on uh, either recognition or the money. It's you know like in sports, in uh, Hollywood, it's either money or, or recognition. Those are two things pushing the competition. Right. In a small business, it's the same same way. It is the it's, same. Those two things. So before you will, when you kind of work with other people, before you go after the the money or recognition, if you know someone, you would be like, but she's such a nice person. Like, I think it can get a little, um, I think you can spiral down in in it. We've seen this, you know, with other people and we've, we've coached other, other businesses that have been like consumed by it yeah. and you know they're reactive instead of proactive yeah. um, and those are things that you need to yeah. pay attention to because if you're being reactive to your competition if you're seeing your competition put something out and you're like well I better do this because she just did that or He's, yeah. he just did that that's the first sign that you're in competition because we, right. but very often we do not realize that we're actually in competition right like, we, like, we, do, we just don't like someone like I don't like that person because oh, I don't know I don't like them and it comes down to that you of your fear and you instead of you growing your business you are being reactive to someone right. which is the worst thing you can do right like worse yeah. instead of growing and being passionate and happy about what you do you are stalking someone putting that energy and like reacting to whatever they do absolutely so my recommendation if the relationship is in is in that kind of situation where it's not it's it's direct competition there's no way that you're going to be able to work with this person there you're triggered by everything you see that comes out from them my recommendation don't look at their stuff block unfollow, them block. unfollow whatever it, t- it takes for yeah. you to not see their stuff um, do that and see you know see if that helps see yeah. if that helps you build your business yeah. remove the trigger remove the trigger from from your life that way you can just move on in a in a healthy positive way we really believe it if, if you're in a situation that uh there's such a strong competition that you have having hard time getting your clients and finding the right clients and you getting the leftovers from yards the website get a part-time job so you can kind of get yourself a breather because that, that will t- totally consume you it's not healthy you will be compromising your love whatever you do if you are if you have that wall of competition around you and you're absolutely terrified of working with anyone in your area if you you are very passive aggressive um you will miss opportunity of getting clients from your friends right Right, because nobody's going to want to work with you. I get, I get referrals you. in town. Like, uh, all the photographers like, can you do this? Because I don't want to do it. Right. I'm like, fantastic. That's my perfect client. They found you. You sent them to me. It was perfect fit. And I will do the same thing for you. Right. Uh, because clients do not know what they don't know. They just seek. Right now, they, they will Google stuff and they will look, oh, that's a good photographer. Looks good. I will contact them. And, you know, there's so much beyond that. 
so when you are absolutely obsessed with competition, you are really actually doing most of your damage than protecting yourself. Yes. It's yes. more a mental thing than actual people stealing from you. And I got stolen stuff, like ideas for photo shoots. Oh, I think it's, yeah. It, it's something normal, you have to get over it. People get uh, excited, uh, it will hurt. Uh, I, will, I won't say that it didn't hurt. Well, and I was that, moping around. And that's, uh, yeah, and I've had it happen to me too, where I came out with something and I did something and then I, I saw a couple months later and I'm like, are you serious? Like, uh, that was my idea. Yeah, and I'm like, I can't, I can't use this anymore. Yeah. Cause, you know, and so, but, but if you see that happening, that should be your first line that you're doing something right. Yeah. Um, they say imitation is the best form of flattery. So, yeah. you know, take it in strides and be like, fine. It will hurt. Drink this wine, sucks. Eat cake. <laughs> Get over it. Right. And uh, I think it's totally healthy to go through that. Um, but knowing that you need to move on from that, get past it and, and understanding that you're going to have competition, whether you like it or not, whether it's a big box chain coming in to compete with the little guy, you know, we've seen that in our town. Um, and it, it, you know, it didn't make our, our local business go under, um, people value, you know, so think about what your new, your unique selling point is. You yeah. know, what makes you different than your competition? Look at your competition as, as a healthy instrument yeah. to learn from. What are they doing that's Look. maybe not yeah. so great, yeah. that's pissing people off, that you could maybe offer or say, hey, you know, I guarantee that this is going to be different uh, yeah. from what my competition has. And when you, uh, you know, we say to each other, you know, it will be good fire under your ass. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Oh my you gosh. Will, you, will, you will see how creative your marketing will get, will get when you turn on the Facebook in the morning and see someone copy your marketing. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? That was my plan. That was exactly, I had literally stolen, my, someone like used my marketing slogan. I woke up, I'm like, that's my slogan on the marketing. Oh my gosh. I'm like, well. It's time, time to, to come move. up with a new one. Yeah, time to move on. Don, you, you know, competition will make you go forward because right. you have to remember that uh, the best thing you can do instead of concentrating on them and you know spying on them, just just get creative. Be ten step ahead. Right. Let right. them chase you. Uh, you know because you, they cannot be in your head. They will be always chasing you. Uh, and and competition a, makes a great motivation. Yeah. Great motivation. Yeah. So you know, it's a, it's it's an awful thing, but it's a good thing. It's yeah. like necessary thing to grow. And if it really really bothers you, um, meet with that person and see who Have they a are. Confrontation. Yeah. Right? See see who they are, and maybe it will turn out that they are not so awful. Right, maybe they they have no idea that you even exist. Yeah, exactly. And they're so. like, "I'm so sorry. Let's work together. Let's yeah. collaborate," which can happen. And we, you know, we see collaborations all the time, which yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. So it's that easy. Oh, we are so oh, we are so awesome. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> in every situation and instance where I have had my work stolen from me or my ideas taken, um, it has done nothing but motivate me to produce better work yeah i'm like well you're gonna do that i'm gonna come out with something even better there you go there you so. go fire it under the ass yes <laughs> cheers to that thanks again subscribe of course right absolutely we i don't know do we have to start stripping in this to, to get more subscribers boob shot i don't know <laughs> i don't know Please subscribe, share some love with us, uh, comment on the subjects you, you want us to talk about. Wines you, you want us to try. Yes, if you want us to come and visit you, please, we would love to. Yes. Uh, as long as it, it's not too far from uh, Los Alamos. Uh, oh, I'll go wherever. <laughs> and this, Honey, you have to stay with the kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, please stay tuned for the next episode and uh, we'll see you on the air. We'll see you next time.